Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on percentage composition worksheets. So this video presents a few slides where we have some worksheets and we can practice doing some examples on percentage composition. Now we've had a lesson particularly on these examples so if you missed out on the lesson or you're not sure what to do here, on the last slide there is a link. If you click on the link it will take you to the lesson and it will explain how to do each and every one of these examples. So very quickly if we just look at a few of them, what percentage is 5 of 8? So basically you form a fraction by from each of these numbers, so a fraction so you put the first one over the second, okay, and then you multiply that by 100 over 1. So that will give you the percentage. So remember, the first number over the second number, that's the numerator, that's the denominator, you multiply by 100 over 1. We go down to number 3, we made particular mention of this type of example earlier where you notice here you have different units we have millimeters and centimeters now we put that measurement over that measurement so we still follow the same rule as here however you have to do some type of conversion to make each of the units the same after you do that you multiply by 100 over 1. Very, very important. So here, notice you have centimetres and metres, metres and kilometres, grams and kilograms. In each case, you put the first measurement over the second, but you have to make a conversion so both units are the same. That's really important. This example here is slightly different because basically we're given three different marks here and the total marks are 40 so we have to find what percentage each of those scores are. That's the same with this one so that's not much different. Over here we have a mixture now it's sort of pretend you're cooking something or you're making something and you've got those three ingredients now, we have to work out what percentage each of those ingredients is of the total. So make sure you add those three numbers up. That gives you the total. Then you can work out each part as a percentage. Let's look at the next slide. Very similar, except they're just a, f a little bit more challenging. But the principles are the same. So in summing up, if you're not sure what to do, on the next slide there is a link. Click on the link, it will take you to the lesson and it will explain how to do all these examples. Don't forget, with this one, this one, this one and that one, after you put the first quantity over the second, do a conversion so the units are the same and then follow the same procedure. 